Thing was my favorite character. At a certain point, I started writing letters to all the comics I liked. The first of which was a letter I wrote about Fantastic Four number 17, which is the first time anything of mine had appeared in, uh, in print. Dear Stan and Jack, FF number 17 was greater than great. It will live forever as one of the greatest FF comics ever printed, ergo as one of the greatest of all comics. In what other comic mag could you see things like a hero falling down a manhole and a president of the USA leaving a conference that may determine the fate of the world to put his daughter to bed? That was JFK, by the way. Then there's your cover boast, the world's greatest comic magazine, and by gumbo you achieved it. If you were only half as good as you are now, you'd still be the world's best mag. Signed, George R. Martin, and I only had one R then, and Stan responded, we might as well quit while we're ahead. Thanks for your kind words, George. And changed my life, really. They come from real life, real personal spaces in those lives. It's the core DNA of the American people. Our world is no longer black and white, and our superheroes have come to reflect that.